Hey there, Pisces. Welcome to your reading for the week of June 6th. Uh, we're gonna jump right in here as always, Pisces. And <laughs> I'm laughing because when I started your reading, uh, before I started your reading, this card was on the top of the deck and then I shuffled it and here it is again. So uh, that's very interesting. But we're gonna look and see what is going on for you at this time. Pisces for the week of the 6th. Uh, this looks amazing. <laughs> uh, I had a feeling that it was going to be a really good week. I, my only, The only thing I would say that could make your week a little bit better would be to kind of like push it. It's funny that this King of Wands came out in reverse. I will keep it in mind. I don't read reversals, but it's definitely interesting that you have the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands in reverse. And it's it's something that is kind of like standing out to me here in this reading. So we're going to look into it. Uh, you start off with this Y card. I just feel you have a lot of questions. Seven of Cups in the same row as well. Seven of Cups to me is a card of questions, like having a lot, like having a lot of questions, right? <laughs> like wondering um, what's going on, what's going on with this reading, and you know what's going on with this reading, what's going on this week, what direction should I move in? Like I have all these questions, a lot of unanswered questions as well. And you have the Moon card. Here, which is kind of like your card, but it's also a card of darkness. Same thing with the Eight of Cups that you have here as well. It's like he's walking into darkness. He doesn't necessarily know where he's going. That doesn't mean he stops, right? That means that he just is kind of not sure where he's going. It's reminding me of a quote. There's a book that I've read about a hundred times now, and it's called The Science of Getting Rich. And in that book, there's a quote where he says, you know, an ounce of um, an ounce of effort is worth more than a pound of uh, theorizing. You know, basically, uh, you know, we can sit here all day and think about things that we want to do, and but it, it doesn't equal anything <laughs> until we actually take action. And that's popping into my head. I butchered the quote, as always, Pisces, even though I've listened to it a hundred times. But, you know, the whole point is, is like, you can think about things all day long, but until you actually, you know, dip your toes in the water, you're not going to get anywhere. You have the Queen of Wands, the Seven of Cups, and the Ten of Cups. I do believe that you see something as you're happily ever after. I don't know what this is about. Two of Swords right next to it. There's like some sort of separation between you <clears throat> and what you actually want. Part of me believes that that King of Wands in reverse could say action is a thing that needs to be taken, obviously, so that you can experience your Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups doesn't have to be love. I do feel it could be love for a lot of you. Um... But I also feel that it could just be your happily ever after. It could just be something that you, you know, some sort of dream that you have or a goal, wish, dream, <laughs> you know, any number of those things. Uh, you also have the Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups says get out of your head. I feel like you need to kind of get out of your head with this Seven of Cups. Uh, seven of Cups doesn't actually say that, but I'm saying that, Pisces. I feel there's a need for you to kind of get out of your head and to put some things down on paper. It's like I have all these weird words popping into my head, like put it down on paper and, you know, uh, the whole, you know, ounce of trying thing, right? And I feel you just need to kind of get moving on something you've been thinking about for a very long period of time. You even have the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is really successful. She's a card of being bold, being assertive, really going for what you want. Uh, I feel if you do that, you will experience this transformation. So you have this transformation card, and I do feel you're undergoing a lot of transformations. I feel you're coming out of Caterpillar Soup, as I always say with this card. You know, uh, Virgo had this card in the June readings, which is interesting. It's your opposite sign. I find that opposites tend to be very similar in astrology. I always say that to me, Pisces and Virgo are actually the most similar opposites out of the whole entire zodiac. So, you know, uh, that's what I'll say there. But I do feel a lot of you could be kind of experiencing a transformation. Uh, you have the moon, the empress, and the two of swords. The moon, I feel, is like saying, yeah, you don't know the answers. <laughs> you know, it's like the moon, there's a path straight down the moon, but it terminates at some mountains in the background. Mountains represent an accomplishment, but it's like you're going to have to face some fears to make something happen here, Pisces. And, you know, really, that's what I feel like this whole entire re reading is about. It's a very simple reading. I feel like it's just saying that... Um, if you take action, you're going to be successful. I also feel like if you knew how powerful you were, Pisces, then there wouldn't be any hesitation as well with the the Empress. It's like, you know, I feel like there's a gap that can only be, be filled by Pisces. 
And it's just like waiting for you to jump into the hole, you know, like the spot, <laughs> whatever it is. So it's like, if you've been thinking about starting a business, I feel like the universe has opened up, up, up a spot for Pisces to have their little business, probably a big business, not little. And I feel like the universe is like saying, step into the gap, Pisces. Uh, same thing with love as well. It's like you could have true love. And I feel for some of you that this is saying, step into the gap. Where's the gap? It's right here. Uh, so turn around. You know, I feel like if you're staying where you have always been, you're going to experience what you've always experienced. But, you know, as I always say with the Two of Swords, she needs to see that there's new opportunity on this island behind her. She needs to go to this new island. That's where everything she wants is. So in a lot of ways, I feel like you, you could be protecting something like your heart. She has her swords crossed over her heart and she's trying to protect herself from who the hell knows what. And I feel like you need to like let go, get out of your head and let go of your fears let go of, you know, the worries, the doubts, and like all those other things with this card, Pisces, because I feel like those things are just holding you back and preventing you from moving you forward. So, you know, I would get out of your head here, Pisces, with the Two of Swords. Uh, next, you have this pineapple card. It says reconciliation on it. You have this cobweb. It says protected from negative forces beyond your control. So clearly, you are protected at this time as well, Pisces. That's also why I feel like you should get out of your head <laughs> because I feel like you are protected. I feel like there are things that, you know, you can, that are helping you to like avoid uh, danger or whatever you want to call it. I feel like you need to realize that. Uh, this could be a reconciliation. I don't really see any, re we're going to clarify this in just a second. I don't really see any reconciliation cards, whatever, take it how it resonates, Pisces. But, you know, what I would say is, you know, if it's a person, probably a person from like a past life. So it could be like a past life reconciliation. I don't see it as a reconciliation, reconciliation, but again, take it how it resonates. And you have the four of pentacles, the eight of cups and the king of wands. Again, this was in reverse and it's interesting because it's in this diagonal with the empress. I feel like someone is realizing their true power here. But the interesting thing is, I would say that if you're in a situation ship or, you know, an entanglement, whatever you want to call it, I feel like there's some sort of power dynamic or some sort of, you know, there's like a, um, one of these things, <laughs> you know, I feel like there's like a lack of balance in a situ if you are in a situation ship, I, f I almost feel like I see like two people and it's like, they both are leaders, you know, in a lot of ways. And I feel like both people are trying to take the lead in the situation, which is very strange. I'm not saying, but, but, but again, here's how I'm, I'm, this is just how I'm seeing it. But again, I feel like if both people realize that if they smash themselves together, it, you know, it would be like a power couple type of situation. It doesn't have to be like, you know, it doesn't have to be this power dynamic that I'm seeing in my head. I hope that makes sense. Uh, the four of pentacles, I feel like, is someone needing to release control in this situation. Could be you, could be them. Take it how it resonates, right? I feel like someone is trying to control a situation too much. They, they're they maybe wanting things to go a little bit too much their way. The eight of cups could be like walking away, um, but, you know, I, I do feel like all of you are walking away from things that no longer serve you, but I also just get a rubber band effect here. So if you're like trying to walk away from a person that where it's a, a good relationship, right? where it's a positive relationship, but maybe there's just some weird power thing going on, right? I feel like you could just be snapping right back. You do have the King of Wands, and again, the King of Wands asks you to be bold, assertive, and the King of Wands really wants you to go for what you want. So I feel you really, this is like a very powerful reading. And again, like I said, if you only realize that you, you know, the universe has given you all the power and everything with that Empress, you know, I feel like you wouldn't be hesitating, Pisces. Uh, so let's see where this is going. Uh, with the Queen of Wands, you have the Judgment card. Well, I mean, there's your Reconciliation card, <laughs> um, Pisces. So whatever. Uh, for some of you, it could be a Reconciliation. Uh, for others, I feel like you're just being asked to make a change. Again, these people are standing in a coffin, and they're being asked to leave the coffin. The coffin represents their old life. Outside the coffin represents their new life. And it's like time for an upgrade, Pisces. It's time for you to step into your new life. And I feel like that's what that Judgment card is like saying, answer the call, right? With the Seven of Cups, you have the Three of Cups. Three of Cups is a celebration. Also could be a reunion or a reconciliation. So there you go, again. But Three of Cups is a celebration. So I feel like there's a big celebration coming in for you, but only after you put something in reality. Again, I keep getting that message. You know, an ounce of effort is worth more than a pound of theorizing, which again is a quote from uh, The Science of Getting Rich by Wallace D. Waddles, if you're interested in reading it. It's an excellent book, one of my favorites. And I think you can probably find it on YouTube, believe it or not. It's a very short read. But it, there, there are probably people who read it on YouTube. 
And um, what I would say is that I feel like this is the action. I also feel people are helping you. It's like, you know, I feel like once you take action, people are gonna come in to get you moving forward. With the Ten of Cups, you have the Knight of Cups, Knight in Shining Armor. For some of you, if, uh, if this is a love reading, I feel that for some of you it is, some of you it isn't. I feel like you're dreaming of a person. Ten of Cups is, again, dreamy with that Seven of Cups. So I feel you've been dreaming of having a person in your life, and this is the person right here. And it could be a knight in shining armor. For some of you, I feel like this person's already in your life. I feel like they find you very attractive, and I don't know, I just feel like there needs to be more action or two of swords. Someone needs to leave a comfort zone or where they have always been. With the moon, you have the six of swords. Moving on to calmer shores, somebody's making a decision here. Uh, very interesting. Six, six of swords, you know, this woman and the child, they're leaving everything behind them. They're not taking anything with them across the choppy waters. So, you know, it's like, I feel someone is taking a risk if this is a relationship and, and they're willing to brave the choppy waters because they're like moving towards hopefully calmer shores. Again, this card, they're still in choppy waters on this card. They are not sure if where they are moving to is the right direction. But really, it is. <laughs> so they just need to trust that they are kind of moving in the right direction. They're and they're also being guided. I feel that if you're making any change, it doesn't have to be in a relationship. For I do feel this is love for a lot of you. But you know, again, I, that could just be part of it. And I feel for a lot of you, this is like you could also be changing your business or where you live. And I feel you're kind of like being guided. Maybe you keep having dreams or daydreams about the direction you want to move in, something like that. So. You know, because that the, the the reason I'm saying this is that this person in the back of the boat, he represents a guide. You know, he's a ferryman. He goes back and forth between the choppy waters. I also feel this is like something that is pulling you out of the mud. You know, if you've been stuck in the mud for a long time, I feel like your guides are kind of, you know, pushing you along here. With the uh, Empress, you have the Five of Pentacles. Exactly what I said. <laughs> Literally. Five of Pentacles is calling attention to your weaknesses. Like I was saying with the Empress, if you only knew how powerful you were, whatever the hell I said on the Empress in, in the first part of the reading, right, then you wouldn't hesitate. Here's the hesitation, exactly what I was feeling um, with this Five of Pentacles. Don't be a Pisces, Pisces, is what I'd say. Trust me, I get it. I'm a Pisces, right? I do this all day long. So, you know, I know this game, right? It's like, well, you know, I want to start this business. I want to do this thing. And then I'm like, oh, I can't because, you know, someone made fun of me when I was three years old or something like that, right? So I feel like this is saying, you know, you're the empress right now. You are extremely powerful. The universe, I, I literally see like hands like this, like going like this. It's like, like I said, the universe has created a gap. That's the best way I can describe it. The universe is just waiting for you to kind of just plug right into it. And I do see you plugging into something. This is, and you know, this is different than just kind of inserting yourself into something here, Pisces, because I feel like you're plugging into something. And, you know, if this is a business, for example, I feel like it's going to give you more energy than you even, than you create, take from it, everything. It's going to be like very energetic. I see it as something that really inspires you and really kind of fills you up. Same thing with a relationship as well. Uh, with the Two of Swords, you have the Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords is a card of needing to kind of move away from your limitations. It is a card of self-imposed restriction. She has put herself in this mode, but she could easily lean up against those swords and she could set herself free and she would cut her hands free, then she could take her blindfold off, and she could set herself free. So, sorry, my allergies are crazy today, Pisces, but thank you for bearing with me. Um, what I would say here is I feel like you need to set yourself free from something that has been kind of stuck. I would, I literally just feel like something is stuck and you know what it is. Like, I feel if you look at it, you realize whatever it is is not allowing your life to move forward, and I feel like this is saying set yourself free from whatever that is. Uh, with the Four of Pentacles, you have the Death card. There's the change. Again, good things coming in for you. You know, the sun is coming up between the two pillars on the moon and you have the moon to the death card. So I feel the sun. So I feel like the sun is coming up here, Pisces, with that death card. It's like you're kind of being reborn. Now with the Eight of Cups, you have the Ten of Swords. Something is, something, there is a difficult ending. I do feel kind of like with that Two of Swords, be having a foot, a foot in two worlds. It's like if you release something, there could be a difficult ending. I don't think it's a bad thing though, you know? It's like the Ten of Swords can be something, is really something that needs to be, is, is dead done over with in the first place, you know? It's like, um, you know, the Ten of Swords comes up, I think, when we're holding on to a corpse, when we're holding on to something that is dead <laughs> and it needs to be released. So I don't look at the Ten of Swords 
as a bad card. To me, it's a good card because you're like letting go. And again, it doesn't get much worse than that. You're dead. Uh, with the King of Wands, you have the Lovers. Definitely at a crossroads. I feel there could be new love coming in for you here. And I feel it'll be a very strong connection if this is love. Uh, for others, I just feel you, again, this person up here, you have, look at, look, look at this. I'm just going to show you here. You have your higher self angel here. You have your higher self angel here as well on the lovers. So I feel you are kind of being guided by your higher self at this time towards a new direction. Uh, this is a very good reading. And again, it's very simple. I think you just need to realize that how powerful you are, Pisces. Can we, I, I'm going to pull some extra cards here. I just want to see if there's anything that I'm missing. Uh, you have the Queen of Swords. You finally see clearly that you need to make a change. Something's happened recently, I feel, for you, Pisces, that has kind of not really woken you up, but, you know, maybe a little bit. Maybe there's been a realization. I don't think it's, like, super powerful necessarily, like a tower wake-up call, but pretty close. You have the star. There you go. You know what to focus on. I feel like you know what will bring you joy and happiness. I also feel you feel very inspired as well. So it's like the universe, I feel is trying to bring things into your life that inspire you, that wake you up, that make you go, oh my God, that's exciting to me. Whatever it is, could be a person, could be about a job or a business or a new health routine or moving. And I feel you keep getting like little, like flashes of inspiration with the star. And uh, at the bottom here, you have the Six of Cups reconciliation. <laughs> Some of you could be reconciliation for others. I just feel like it's a gift from the universe. It's like forward progress. But Damn, this is a good reading, Pisces. I love where this is going, especially with that Empress. So thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your Sun, Moon, Rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. Also, make sure if you haven't to watch the June reading, which I'll put up right here.